The Seasnake LT1000 is a battery-powered camera control unit and laptop interface. With the LT1000, a compatible laptop, and the included Seasnake HQ software, you get a direct path to high-quality digital documentation of your jobs. The LT1000 can be purchased with mounting hardware that attaches directly to your standard or mini Seasnake camera reel, or with a freestanding mini frame. The included Seasnake HQ software lets you monitor your inspections, document them with motion video, still images, and text comments, generate reports in a variety of formats, and upload job information to Rigid Connect for secure online reporting, archiving, and sharing. The LT1000 has a built-in microphone for audio recording and a multifunction keypad that gives you full control over camera and recording functions. The LT1000 also includes a transmitter clip-on terminal for connection to a rigid line transmitter. By connecting a rigid line transmitter, you can energize the C-Snake push cable with a signal that can be traced out to the camera head using a rigid receiver. Refer to the integrated line trace tutorial on the Rigid website for a step-by-step -step look at using this feature. In the next few minutes, we'll take a quick look at setting up the LT1000 for use with your laptop and operating its features and controls. Before using the LT1000, be sure to read the operator's manual to familiarize yourself with important safety information and usage instructions not covered in this video. For information on using C-Snake HQ, refer to the software's documentation. If you purchase the LT1000 with the mini frame, it comes pre-assembled and ready to use. If you purchase it in a reel mounted configuration, you'll need to install the platform on your camera reel prior to use. Refer to your operator's manual for step-by-step -step instructions on how to do this. Before connecting the LT1000 to your laptop, you'll need to install the Seasnake HQ software. Refer to the software's documentation for instructions on installing and using Seasnake HQ. To power the unit with a battery, slide a charged battery into the battery dock until it clicks into position. Running time per charge will vary but you can expect about two to three hours per battery. If you have a reel mounted unit, you can slide a spare battery into the holder on the rear platform. The LT1000 can also be powered with its included AC power cord. To minimize the risk of injury or damage to your equipment, only use the LT1000's AC adapter indoors and never run your laptop on AC power when it's connected to the LT1000. The LT1000 platform houses the controls and connectors. Reel mounted units also include a rear platform with storage for a spare battery and a retaining cord that helps secure your laptop to the platform during use. Each platform has an adjustable wing that can be folded in or out as needed to help create a suitable platform for your laptop. On the front of the platform, under the protective cover, you'll find a DC power jack audio and video output jacks, and two USB ports. The bottom of the platform contains the battery holder, C-Snake system connector jack, USB laptop connector, and transmitter clip-on terminal. The top of the platform has LED indicators for power, sound, battery, microphone status, and a keypad for controlling camera and recording functions. The keypad is divided into three groups. The group on the right operates the camera reel and the LT1000 hardware. The middle group is used to navigate menus, adjust camera settings, and rotate the on-screen image. The left group operates recording and job settings. Let's take a closer look at the individual keys. The power key turns the unit on and off. When the unit is on, the power LED will be lit, and if you're running on batteries, the battery status LEDs will be lit also. Green indicates a full charge. 
Green and red together indicate a partial charge, and red means that the charge is getting low. About a minute before the unit shuts down, the status indicator will begin blinking rapidly, accompanied by rapid beeping. If you lose power while a recording is in progress, you will lose that recording. So either connect the unit to an AC source, or power it off and replace the battery as soon as the indicator turns red. The zero key resets the distance reading to zero when used with a compatible device. Compatible devices include standard and mini sea snake reels that are equipped with the Count Plus distance measuring device, micro reels equipped with the Count Plus, and sea snake compact reels that are zero enabled. For details on using your reels counter function, refer to its printed operating instructions, product video, or sea snake tips and tricks. If your camera is equipped with an inline transmitter or sonde, you can use the sonde key to toggle the sonde on and off. Depending on your camera, the sonde is located inside or just behind the camera head. When activated, the sonde transmits a signal that can be located with a rigid receiver so you can pinpoint the camera's position and depth. When the sonde is operating, its status LED will be lit. SeaSnake HQ also indicates the sonde's operating status on your laptop screen. The sond icon will appear green when the sond is operating, and it will be grayed out when the sond is inactive. The image flip key rotates the on-screen image 180 degrees. The arrow keys also control image rotation, but in step-by-step -step increments. Using the image flip and arrow keys together, you can quickly and precisely reorient the in-pipe image if the camera becomes rotated in the line. Please note that the in-pipe image will be captured as it appears on screen. The microphone mute key lets you toggle the microphone on and off. When the microphone is on, the microphone status LED will be lit. The brightness key adjusts the intensity of the camera's lighting elements. When first powered on, the lights will be at their maximum intensity. To change the intensity, press the brightness key then use the arrow keys to adjust the camera's light output to the desired level. The menu key opens and closes the display menu. Refer to the operator's manual for details on this menu and its options. The photo key captures a snapshot of the in-pipe image. The photo tag key also captures a snapshot of the in-pipe image and additionally allows you to add text comments. The video key starts and stops video recording. When video is being recorded, the key's status LED will be lit. The playback key plays back the last recorded video file. The auto log key starts and stops auto logging, which captures video at a very low frame rate to keep the file size small. When the system is auto logging, the auto log icon in CSnake HQ will be lit. The Job Management key opens a menu for accessing job options. Refer to the SeaSnake HQ documentation for details. In this segment, we'll cover the basics of connecting the LT1000 to a SeaSnake camera reel and using it to monitor and document an inspection. If your LT1000 is mounted on a camera reel, the SeaSnake system cable should already be connected. If you're using the mini frame, you'll need to connect the SeaSnake system cable to the connector on the bottom of the unit. To connect the cable, line up the guide pin with the guide hole, mate the connector halves, and snug down the locking sleeve. To connect your laptop, place the laptop on the platform. If you're using a real mounted configuration, you can secure the laptop to the platform using the retaining cord. Once the cord is routed over the laptop, you can use the cap stand to snug it down. This configuration also includes stabilizers, and these can be rotated out to minimize the chances of the reel tipping over while in use. Connect the LT1000's USB cable to your laptop and power on both units. In most cases, your laptop will detect the LT1000 and automatically launch SeaSnake HQ. If HQ doesn't start automatically, 
You can start it manually by double-clicking its program icon. Once SeaSnake HQ starts, you can choose your job options and begin your inspection. For information on SeaSnake HQ's job options, please refer to the software's documentation. At this point, you're ready to begin your inspection. How you document a particular inspection will vary according to the job requirements and your preferences. You can use Autolog, capture still photos either with or without text comments, record full motion video, or use a combination of all three methods. Refer to SeaSnake HQ's documentation for more information on these tools and how to use them. In the past few minutes, we've taken a quick tour of the LT-1000. We've seen how to set it up and looked at its features and operation. If you haven't already, be sure to read the LT-1000 Operator's Manual and SeaSnake HQ's documentation. These resources provide additional information that will help you get the most out of your equipment. And be sure to visit us on the web at rigidforum.com. The Rigid Forums give users a place to connect, exchange tips, and seek advice. On behalf of the entire Rigid team, thank you for buying Seasnake equipment. <laughs>